What's going on guys? Alex here with 814 EDC and I got a quick little unboxing to do for you guys today. Um, this is Wednesday, October 13th. Um, I got home to like my home home probably two hours ago or so. Um, I'm on fall break right now. The weather is beautiful outside. It's like 63, something like that. Really nice and sunny with a nice breeze, like perfect fall weather. Um, and this package came in like legit 10 or 15 minutes ago uh, i was taking my dog for a walk we go for like a loop around our property um and when we got back this package was sitting here so somewhere along the lines uh, i must have missed the person coming back up and dropping it off but nonetheless i got it here i'm ready to unbox it first off we're gonna crack a nice cold drink open if you guys haven't tried the sun-kissed berry lemonade um, my dad got a 12 pack of it and brought it home uh, the last time I was home and I was like I keep I kept seeing this in the stores and I try not to drink much pop um, but I'm a Dr. Pepper addict so when I do drink pop it's it's that so I don't drink too much other stuff um, but I saw this repeatedly at stores and I was like I really want to try it um, so when he got it in I'm like oh nice and it's very very good it's very light I'm not super not a very, you know, heavy, sweet flavor. I really, really like it. So now that I'm hydrated, I got the unboxing knife, which is the uh, Voxness F5.5 Urban EDC Supply. I got a little bit of butt sweat there from my walk. That's what I'm carrying today. Absolutely love this knife. Look at that. Just so good. Uh, but this package comes in from Amazon. And this was kind of kind of an impulse buy, um, but I was swayed by the one and the only Kevin over at Left EDC. You guys know Kev by this point if you watch my channel. Um, he's one of my best friends in the community. And where's the seam for this? There we go. Uh, and he got this knife in uh, late last week, middle of last week, and he was raving about it. He was saying... You know, it, it's a budget knife of the year for him, um, which I think he's given to like three knives now. I think the Riffle was um, one early on in the year. Then it was the Mini Arion, which I just did my review on if you guys are interested in that. And now it's this. But normally when Kevin likes a budget knife, it must be really, really good because he doesn't get into too many budget knives nowadays. Got some paper. Um, so like I said, when he gets into one and he really, really raves about it, uh, it must mean that it's you know worth it because on one of his videos about it or one of his Instagram posts about it he said that um, replied back to a comment that I had made on his post and he said that he had a uh, he was addicted to this knife he was just standing in the bathroom like flipping it um, so without further ado this is a Kubi knife so I don't have much experience with Kubi before I did have um, the Kubi Wolverine in on loan from the Black Widow Passer on group. Um, some stuff happened with that knife and I may or may not have, it may or may not have kind of disappeared for a little bit, but that's all cleared up. Um, I never did a full review on that because I wanted to send it out so other people get going on it, but that was a mental mistake on my part. But again, that's all cleared up. And Justin, uh, the knife dude who runs the Black Widow Passer on group, um, was very understanding and stuff so again that's why i love the people that i associate myself with but again this is a kubi this is the ku321 folding pocket knife tan as you can see right there now this is a i think cm i'm not sure i understand oh, i wasn't talking to you anyways here um i believe this is like a cm knife works or cm knife uh design um, I know he makes some Tucson models that I've seen Kevin review, and uh, I don't know many of his designs besides those two sons in this one. But this is a front flipper with a middle finger or a hole for middle finger deployment. Uh, and Kevin said that you know the detent was so good, and uh, he just he really really raved about it. Um, it's called the Royal, if I haven't already mentioned that. But just typical Kubi uh, boxing from what I can remember or from also what I've seen from other people. Cut through this label. 
and here she be. You get, if I can get out. It's like stuck in there, but you get uh, some paperwork, Kubi, an edge above the rest, and I'm sure it has some, you know, typical paperwork that you get with knives. Sit that in there. Comes in this uh, plastic. Sorry if you guys can hear the background traffic. I'm on my front porch, which I love to film out when I'm home. Uh, but my road is very busy right now, so I apologize if you guys can hear that. Okay, right away, I already really like the size of it. Um, I tend to gravitate more towards smaller knives and medium-sized knives. Um, and I think the blade length on this is like a hair underneath three inches. <coughs> Excuse me. A hair underneath three inches. Um, but yeah, here we go, guys. We got the Royal. First things first, I really like how Kubi does their pivot. Um, that just is like, it's very unique. Um, and it's a little bit of billboarding, but I, I like it a lot. You can see I have the tan G10, kind of has like some grain pattern going through it. I like that as well. You can see you have the hole. There is a front flipper. You got the uh, pivot screw. Then you have a deep carry loop over style clip, which is really, really nice. Goes to the butt end of the knife. Um, I believe there is a black version. Um, and I think there's a, a JG10 with a uh, black wash blade and a uh, JG10 with a standard uh, stone wash blade. Or this might be bead blasted, I'm not sure. Uh, centering is dead nuts. Um, yeah, right on, I just, I really like the size of it. I, I knew it was gonna be a smaller knife, but I just didn't know exactly how, you know, sizing would be. I don't know what to try first. I don't know if I wanna try the middle finger flick or the front flipper. I'll try the middle finger flick. Ooh, yes, that, see that came out firing. Um, CM Designs, that is the designer of this right there. You can see this is a D2 blade, which D2 is no, I have no quips or gripes with D2. Um, it's always, you know, treated me very, very well. Um, I have started to like 14C28N though quite a bit, uh, but again, D2 is fine for a knife of this price point. You do have a liner lock, and right off the bat, I noticed that it has a nice cutout for your, your thumb or your finger that you're using to, to you know, disengage the lock bar. Um, jimping on the liner lock is there. You also have some real small jimping up top here, which I don't, I get a little bit of it when I'm, you know, in here, but if I put my thumb out here, I'm not going to get much of it or out here. I just, I really like this blade design. Um, it's it's a Warncliffe, I would say, or not not really. No, it's not a reverse Tanto. I'd say it's a Warncliffe style blade. Just really light. I mean, really utilitarian. Very nice. And I think this is a bead blast. I don't think this is satin. Really nice edge on it. Let's see how it drops. Oh my gosh! Right out of the box, guys. Did you see that? No, I can't. My thumb in there. Look at that. The hole is definitely a little bit to get used to. Um, the detent is definitely, I mean, it's a good detent, guys. We'll try with the front flip. Look at that drop, though. That is right out of the box. I mean, I've done like five flips with it. Top flip. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, the detent is definitely stronger, um, which must be why it was so appealing to the detent diva himself. I mean, look at that. Barely any shaking to get that down. That is awesome. Um, I'm super glad I got this in. Uh, this was from Amazon, like I said. I believe I spent, the knife itself was like 59 something and then with tax it was like 63 bucks. So 63 bucks for some really nice G10. I did not hit on that or touch on that at all. Um, but like I said, I really like kind of the graining sort of pattern it has on there. It's, all, it's very nice, it has a very, very good texture. All contoured nicely. Um, 
liners are inset into the scales, which is really nice, and there's a lot of um, milling and skeletonizing going on in there, so that's very, very nice. I just heard a squirrel in the tree. Yeah, that's, I mean, I, right off the bat, like, I have to agree with Kevin. For 60 bucks, this thing is awesome. Um, the detent is definitely a little strong. But look at that action, guys. Oh. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this knife. I'm super glad I picked one up. Um, kind of an impulse buy, like I said, but well worth it. And for 60 bucks, like, how can you go wrong with this thing? Well, one thing I did not hit on is you have recessed screws, but there is a scale, or the uh, clip is not recessed into the scale, which I would have liked to seen, but, you know, you're getting, it's better that you're getting recessed screws and not, you know, normal uh, higher screws, so. Yeah, this is awesome. Uh, you know, I don't want to spoil too much for my review, but Ergos are very, very good too. So I can see this knife being a real winner in my book. Um, I think Kubi has a real, a real good product on their hands here. So, and this makes me just want to try more Kubi models. Um, because if I'm being honest, I never really gave Kubi too much of a thought. I, you know, I knew about them, but I just, I never, never really gave them too much, I guess. Um, so that might have to change in the future. Cause this thing is sweet hopefully i can learn how to yeah you, know, you can top flip it it's just a little a little hard at times but yeah awesome awesome knife guys so this is the kubi royal new knife i got in um you guys know the review will be out within i'd say you know two three four weeks somewhere in there just depending on how busy i get with other stuff but as always, leave a comment down below. Love talking to you guys. I want to thank you guys for always supporting the channel, for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your weekend, because if I'm thinking correctly, I think I'm going to post this on Saturday, because I already have a video lined up on well, Thursday. So you guys are going to see this Friday or Saturday, but nonetheless, have a fantastic weekend. Thank you guys. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.